Hey, what up, Ty 1822 TLC? You know, pay per view just went off, you know, just went off the air. And this pay per view, you know, this was a solid pay per view right here. You know, I enjoyed it. You know, good job by WWE not giving us, you know, a crappy ass pay per view like that, you know, that TNA pay per view that put me to sleep and I didn't even do a damn review because it was so boring. But, you know, first match of the night was Dolph Ziggler versus Zack Ryder. This match was very good right here. Back and forth action. You know, the crowd was very into this match right here. You know, chanting for Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder, you know, hit the Rough Rider. One, two, three. Your new United States champion, Zack Ryder. Now, it's good to see, you know, the crowd go crazy, you know, for Mick Carter. You know, winning, you know, his first single title. Because you don't see that from, you know, today's WWE when the crowd, you know, Get a big pop, you know, to a Mick Carter like a Zack Ryder. And, you know, Dolph Ziggler, it's time for this guy to go bigger and better things in his career. Because he did a good job being United States champion. But congratulations to Zack Ryder. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. New United States champion. Next, Arrow Boom versus, you know, Hunico and Primo. You know, the tag team match was okay right here. You know, the crowd wasn't really into it. But, you know, Kofi Kingston, you know, he got the one, two, three with the uh, Trouble in Paradise. And they retained their tag team titles. Next match was Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett table match. This match was okay right here. You know, nothing memorable in this match. But, you know, to me, the wrong guy went over Randy Orton, put him through the table. And, you know, I always think that Randy Orton did not need this match right here. Randy Orton, you know, it's like he don't lose on pay-per-view. He just loses single matches on SmackDown or Raw, but he just never lose on, you know, pay-per-view. And I hope the next match, you know, Roy Rumble, I guess, you know, I hope, you know, they have a rematch. Or they just do it on SmackDown. But next time, Wade Barrett should go over. Because Orton right now, he don't need this, you know, to win this feud. Wade Barrett needed way more than Randy Orton. But like I said, okay, match, nothing memorable at all. Kelly Kelly versus Beth Phoenix for the Divas title. Typical diva match. Crowd did. Bad Phoenix win. Next. Cody Rose, you know, attacked Booker T earlier. He attacked him again. It was going to have a match, but, you know, I like how WWE was building up Cody Rose. Keep attacking Booker T. I like the way Booker T, you know, keep putting him over. But, you know, I'll get to that match later on. Um, Triple H versus Kevin Nash. You know, the ladder match. Whoever get the sledgehammer, get to use it. This was not a bad match for a Kevin Nash match. You know, Kevin Nash, you know, can't expect a guy, you know, to do a lot of moves. But, you know, he's a big man, you know, supposed to do the simple power moves and all that stuff. But, you know, these two guys, they use the ladder, you know, table spots. You know, I mean, Nash went through the table. I give Nash credit for going through the table, you know, at his age, you know, at his age right now, at the stage of his career. And, you know, this was not a bad match right here. You know, um, Triple H, you know, he... Was gonna give Kevin Nash the power bomb, but it was a botch. He recovered, gave him another, you know, pedigree, and you know, Triple H went up to the ladder. Finally, got the sledgehammer. Kevin Nash, you know, threw the, you know, the click sign up. Triple H suck it, hit him with the sledgehammer. One, two, three. Triple H, you know, Kevin Nash got took off the scratcher. Now let's see what happens. Now is, is, is Kevin Nash done with WWE? We just see, but you know. Kevin Nash seems so lost right now in a WWE. I don't think he fit this era right now of WWE. He, he just he just so lost and the time of Triple H to do something else. I mean, I don't know what, what goes on now. Is he, you know, is a possibility? Rumors are, you know, Triple H, Tigger, rematch, WrestleMania. Don't want to see it. Kevin Nash, don't want to see you either. Next, Jazz Swagger versus Sheamus. A random match. Sheamus wins. Who cares? Big Show versus Mark Henry. This match right here was very short. Big Show knocks out Mark Henry, becomes the World Heavyweight Champion. All of a sudden, the crowd chanting, Daniel Bryant, Daniel Bryant, Daniel Bryant music hits, comes out because Mark Henry took out the Big Show. Daniel Bryant becomes a new World Heavyweight Champion. He going crazy, screaming at the camera, going to Michael Cole. And, you know, I have no problem with Daniel Bryant being, you know, the new World Heavyweight Champion. My problem is that WWE built this guy up piss poor, jobbing to everybody. I think Daniel Bryant won one match since he became the Money in the Bank winner. It was a piss poor job of a build up, and it shows that Money in the Bank don't mean a damn thing. But congratulations to Daniel Bryant, the new World Heavyweight Champion. Piss poor build up, but hey, he's a new World Heavyweight Champion. Next, Booker T versus Cody Rose. This was a solid match right here. Uh, Booker T, you know, he, he, this guy still could go in the ring, you know, he did a spinner Rudy, 
You know, I, he's solid, you know, the, you know, from getting beat down earlier. You know, Cody Rose, you know, kicked him in the head. Kicked him in the second time in the head. Got the pin. Cody Rose retained his Intercontinental title. Like I said, I like this feud right here because they put it over a young talent with a legend like Booker T. And it's good for, you know, Cody Rose to learn from a guy like Booker T. Next, the World Heavyweight Championship Triple Threat Match TLC, uh, CL Punk. Alberto Del Rio and the Miz. This match was very exciting right here for a main event. I really enjoyed this match right here. Del Rio was the LVP of this match. Miz was good. Park was good. You know, Park went through the table from Del Rio, kicking him in the face. And Ricardo Rodriguez took a nasty spot. You know, he was on top of the ladder. Miz and uh, Park pushed him. He fell into the table outside the ring. It was a nasty spot, but I give it, uh, that dude credit for taking that spot. And, you know, Park got handcuffed. You know, he, he finally, you know, escaped, you know, because Del Rio and the Miz was on top of the ladder. Park gets up, knocks Del Rio down. It comes with, down between CL Park and the Miz. CL Park, you know, got the Miz off the ladder. GTS knocked him out. CL Park go up to the ladder, gets the WWE title, and retains his belt. This match was, like I said, was very good. The crowd was into it. You know, they, they were loving CL Park. And, you know, it was weird, you know, not seeing the pit review. Without John Cena, and it felt good not seeing the pay per view without John Cena because CM Punk escaped, but it wasn't on no Superman shit like John Cena would do. Wouldn't take him about one second to escape, you know, handcuffs. You know, Punk took some time with CM Punk. I mean, Punk took time to the escape with John Cena. He took one goddamn second with his Superman giving ass, you know, to get away. But, you know, like I said, you know, this pay per view was very solid right here. I enjoyed it. Daniel Bryant, New World Champ. Uh, uh, Zack Ryder, United States champ, and CM Punk retains his WWE championship. So, you know, very good main event. You know, solid pay per view. And give me your thoughts on WWE TLC. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.